The component is the star of Joomla extensions. It's the extension that users typically see and interact with the most in a Joomla installation. And in many ways, a component is its own web app within the Joomla web app. Now, as a Joomla developer, you know that the core components and third-party components don't always fill all of your requirements. And sometimes you need something custom. If you're a programmer or you have the resources to hire a programmer, you can build a custom component that does exactly what you need. If that's not the case, or if you just don't have time to build a custom component from scratch, Component Creator by Jensen Technologies is an excellent tool for you. Now with Component Creator, you can generate a fully functional, ready to install custom Joomla component without writing a single line of code. If you can design a database, you can build a component to create, manage, and display information in your Joomla website. It integrates seamlessly with Joomla's categories, ACL, and component configuration, so you have an amazing amount of control over how your component functions. So let's go to Component Creator and check out some of the great features available to you. First, go to www.component-creator.com and then click Login up in the top right-hand corner. Now, if you don't have an account yet, you can create an account by clicking on the Create New Account button or you can just log in with Facebook or with Google. So that you, can, you don't have to go through all the steps of creating an account, it just logs in for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in with my account. I'll tell it to remember me. Now, once you're logged in, you immediately see a list of the components that you've created. If you're new to Component Creator, you'll just see a link to create your first component. So since I've already created a test component, you can see that here. So if you click on a component that you've created, it'll take you to a list of the tables that are available for that component. Now I've already created a table just called test. And so you'll notice it's got underscore test, and then underscore test. So test is the name of the component, and then test is the name of the table. So that follows just a pretty standard naming convention for Joomla component tables. Now if you're on the free tier, so uh, component Creator is completely free, but if you're on the free tier, you're limited to one single table for uh, a given component. Uh, so it's definitely worth upgrading to get premium access if you're going to need more than one table. So clicking on the table will take you to a list of all the fields in the table. Now here is where you manage the fields available for that table. The free tier is limited to 30 fields per table, which should be more than enough fields for many applications. But if you need more than that, again, you should upgrade to the premium access. Now, if we go back into our component, you can also add subforms, which we'll cover in more detail later in this series. You also have a way to add empty views to your component. Uh, this is a great way to build out a shell that you can customize later with your own custom code. And then finally, you have config parameters, which gives you the ability to define custom parameters for your component. Again, this is a really useful tool that you can utilize by adding your own custom code to your component to use those parameters. Now in this course, we will go into greater detail about using Component Creator to build your own custom components. We'll start by covering the My Components section and talk about adding, deleting, building components, and sharing and importing components. Then we'll talk about building a component by managing tables, subforms, empty views, and parameters. So after that, we'll dig a bit deeper into tables by manually creating a table, importing a table with SQL, and managing fields in a table. And once we've covered the basics, we'll jump into more advanced concepts like advanced field types and field dependencies. Now, once our component is ready, we'll build, install, and test our component in a Joomla installation.